Well, welcome back, everybody, to this is, I believe, part 26 of Hard Truck 18 Wheels of Steel, medium difficulty. So last time, what we did is uh, we finished that run of games from Detroit, Michigan to Louisville, Kentucky, and now today, I'm going to kind of show you the basics of how to hire people. Now, remember, you're going to have to do several things involving this. One, you're going to have to purchase a truck at full price. And second of all, um, all the uh, drivers have like salaries and stuff like that. So, uh, so keep all those things in mind when we're doing this. All right. All right. First things first, let's get our driver some slate. Alright, so basically how you do this, I'll, I will show you how to do this. Now, Now, in order to get a job, this is what you need to do first. First of all, you need to, um, uh, there's two different types of job classes. There's, there's ad hoc, which is one single delivery, and there's recurring. Now, really the on, only way that you can actually hire people is if you actually have um, uh, licenses. So... So this is all all six of the different ones you can get. So you can get up to six people. So so now that's what we're going to work on is try to get some routes. And at at that time, what we're going to do is we're going to um, plan to do that. So so while we're doing that. Let's see if we can find any recurring routes today. Yes, there is. So that's what we're going to be doing today, is setting up our, um, well, maybe not. <laughs> I wanted to show y'all how to do that. Um, oh wait a minute, there's there's one right there. You know what? Let's. I hate doing this. So I, I really wanted to uh, see. No, that the one for recurring I didn't want. So I was going to stop me at gas too. So. Well, it looks like we won't be doing any recurring ones today, but we'll, um, I'll try to see if I can find one. Um, let's go ahead and do this one. So, anyway, so we're doing uh, Dynamite to Chicago. Now, this is one of the ones that's considered hazardous cargo. And there's an emblem right there on the information there at HC. That means hazardous cargo. So, so anyway, so, so we need to take some dynamite to Chicago. So we have about a little less than 24 hours to do it, about a day. So, so, anyway, so. That's one of the things about actually getting job and hiring people is you have to have licenses. 
So that's the longest thing to do in this um, in this game, and I forgot about him. So it's probably gonna take us, you know, about ten more videos or so to get through it all. So if you want a license, um, I believe you can't hire anybody until you get a license than to do that a particular route. I mean, if not, you'd have to. I believe you'd have to assign your uh, driver to spread their ad hoc routes, but I think in this game it, that it won't let you do that. So we're gonna have to get some licenses, but I'm I'm probably gonna have better luck in Chicago to do that. So so anyway. Alright, so, yeah, that was kind of a, now I'm pretty sure that you're going to have to buy, let me check something, Now, I believe also in this one, yeah, I think it's this one where you don't have to actually buy the tracks. If they, um, they just have a certain salary, I think. Hold on a second. Yeah, they all have a certain skill. Well, anyway, well, don't worry about that. I'll, I'll actually, I'll get more into depth to that. I mean, I, I thought that you're supposed to buy them a truck, but I think that's, um, I'm getting that mixed up with the cross, um, 18 wheels is still across America. So that's my bad. I think in this game, you just need to get their, um, recurring the licenses. There's six of them, um, in every, um, in every difficulty. So once you get them, all you do is you have to deliver the cargo that's undamaged uh, on time. So that's really the, you know, um, that's that's the way you get them. Once you get them, you'll get the license, and then you can hire someone to actually do that particular route, and they and they'll have a truck of their own. So I think that's how it works in this game, if, if I if I remember. So, I, I'm saying all I'm saying all these things just you know from what I remember. So that why I say my change. So anyway. It's up to you which way you want to take to uh, Chicago. Um, you know, that's that, that's all up to you, really. I mean, you could. Um, I mean, you can take the interstate. See what I mean? <laughs> See, if you take it too fast, you're just going to run into the guardrail, so that's my own fault. But anyway, uh, it's up to you if you want to take the interstate or if you want to take... Because uh, the interstate on the smaller trucks will probably take you longer, so I suggest going the small, the, uh, um, the small highways rather than the interstate. So anyway, we're going to have to stop and get some fuel here. So, anyway, I'm drinking me some vanilla Coke right now. So, yeah, it's starting to flash now. So.
you want to take these, um, you need to go do these turnaround uh, things to get to way stations or gas stations or whatever. I take those around 30 miles an hour if you can. See if you don't, you're going to end up running off the road or losing your trailer if you're going too fast. Or if you take the uh, turns way too quick, then that might be an issue as well. Alright. Anyway, it's expensive to fill this truck. <laughs> Cost over a thousand, way over a thousand dollars to fuel this truck, but it can, it can go a long way on a tank of gas. So, so it's it's up to you on how you want to accomplish that. I think this time around, I am. I like to take the smaller road to Chicago because it seems to take it just seems to take less time. So I think that's what we're gonna do this run. So I hope everybody's ready for Super Bowl Sunday. So I'll most likely be uploading these videos uh, parts um, 24, tw 25, this part, and then it might take another part or two to finish this. We'll we'll see how things go. So anyway, last time when we were approaching Louisville, um, if you noticed, that we had to deal with construction. Now with that, on these on these flat roads, what you can do is you actually can just drive on the grass. You can only go about 10 miles an hour or so, but uh, it's not worth advancing the time. I mean, you only have to advance in an hour, but you get actually save a little bit of time just by driving on the grass if you can. So, I just be careful when you're doing that. Though. That's that's all I'm saying. Anyway, fortunately, when that thing goes off, you have to go 55. If you get more than like 57 or 58, they'll give you a ticket. So, so just be very careful because when they deploy you over, it, it wastes time. So, it's really not worth it. You know, because you're more, you're more prone to uh, speed to kind of make up the time. And it's, and to be honest, it's really not worth it. So. So anyway, there's construction again over there off 94 towards Chicago. So that's all what that exclamation mark means. It's either, there's either construction or an accident.
<clears throat> now, really much to talk about is enjoying my weekend. Uh, I had a very long week. <laughs> so I've been having to get up at 3.30 in the morning in order to go to work. <laughs> and then... And then after that, I mean, I'll get home until almost at 10 at night, so... I'm just going to show you what kind of shit that I'm dealing with here. There we go. Okay, cool. I don't see that. Yay! <laughs> I hate it. <laughs> yeah, I don't fuck around with that. Which reminds me, I mean, that's gonna be it for this this video. So I'm gonna go ahead and save it just in case it fucks up. So anyway, next time we'll finish the finish this up. See you then.